Yo, what's going on, everybody? Thanks for tuning back in here to another episode here on the Speedbug channel. It's been a minute since I did a shop update video, and I figured I'd show you guys the shop of, you know, kind of what's going on, how it's come along, and, uh, you know, just some of the progress. Again, uh, for the ones that are asking, I know this is a, com uh, a comment that I get in the comment section all the time, you know, how much did it cost? It's going to completely vary upon you know where you are location wise you know uh, of course lo i'm located in florida so it's going to be different for somebody that lives in minnesota or california or, or so on and so forth uh, uh, you may have to build your foundation you may have to do a few other things uh, depending on how thick you want your concrete etc the, the cost variation could be anywhere on the low end for a shop my size you know probably 120 150,000 to the high end of you know you know five six hundred thousand so um, for people that are saying that it can't be that high or you've gotten ripped or anything like that, well, you try and build a shop during these times with uh, minimal materials and uh, COVID prices and everything under the sun of, you know, hey, the sky's blue today, we're going to charge more. So here we go. All right, so here's the shop. I got some of the cars and some of the bikes in here. I got the Camaro, the ZR1, GT500, the F450, the Trans Am. Uh, I don't have the other two vets in here. The other one's at, the, at uh, my boy's shop and um, and my other vets in my other garage. So got some decorations up, pretty good size. Again, for the ones wondering the size, I could tell you the size. The size is uh, 32 by 56 uh, and, and it's a 20 feet high uh, ceiling truss. So doors are 14 by four and it gives more than enough for me to still put when I have my other, my Ram, my 3500. Uh, Plenty enough to, to store in here. So it got a few banners up, you know, TVs and, and, and a nice area over here, which I really like to still concentrate here on the motorcycles. For the ones that have followed this from the beginning for the, with the motorcycles, yes, still got the GSXR. This baby still rocks and rolls. She's still good. She's ready to rock and roll. I actually took it out, made sure everything was pretty good, but I haven't raced it since my last track outing. Um, and that was pretty much the last time I raced it, which was just under a year ago. But uh, just been so busy building this and doing things with the shop. And uh, now you guys can see what it's like on the inside. So uh, again, uh, just going into some shop details. The concrete floor is uh, eight and a half inches thick. In the center where the lifts are gonna go, it is 12 and a half inches thick. And the footer is about 12 and a half inches thick. So hope you guys like it. Hope you, uh, now you get to see the inside and uh, this is a steel building. It's a hurricane rated to 190 miles an hour and uh, hopefully I never have to experience it. So shop around, see what you guys want to do, you know, see what, you know, what works best for you. And uh, you guys can go figure out, you know, how much the cost is, is going to be for you. So thanks for tuning in guys. Hope to see you again soon. Peace. 